Hello and welcome to yet another video and in this video it is something a bit different than usual because in this video I'll be answering a question that I also have been you know getting asked quite often as well and that is you know should you actually buy these compact well older compact cameras which are more premium or kind of these older um, compact cameras that are not premium but roughly the same price tag nowadays so yeah Full disclaimer though, I have my biases and those of you who have been watching my channel for quite a while now will know which one I will be leaning towards, but I will also just, you know, give some positive pros and cons on each system as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So after having done so many of these uh, compact camera videos, you know, they're like even much more behind me. Um, I feel like I can actually answer this question because I've been asked quite often and um, I think like it would save me a lot of time just to make this video once and for all on what I would recommend personally based on my opinion. Um, so yeah, short answer is I would prefer th these guys um, because nowadays like the the price of these compact cameras has been increasing dramatically it's ridiculous many of the models especially from like Olympus and Canon reached price level of like even before it was actually released or like at their release price so it's uh, <laughs> it's weird and also these compact cameras as many of you might know that I actually prefer cameras that also can produce files that you can work with and also cameras that allows me to have some sort of manual override um, and these cameras allow that. So let me first start by saying that these cameras, yes, the older premium ones will actually deliver that nostalgic kind of digital look that these cameras can but these will do it with a tiny bit more detail will also allow you to actually have that more reliable autofocusing system and will actually allow you to have much much more um, manual focus sorry manual settings override should you wish to do so again these have full automatic modes as well but they also have semi manual modes all the way to full manual modes if you need to and also they have customizable modes as well so to me these cameras they're not much bigger than the other compact cameras and the charger brick if you want to travel with um, these cameras are also not that much bigger in fact they're roughly the same size anyway so for me it just you know, it doesn't make any sense to go for these cameras over this. Uh, but of course, I do see the appeal of these cameras looking more stylish and also um, it's a more point and shoot camera, so you're not more intimidated than this camera. Well, this camera just actually brings a lot of intimidation to a lot of people who don't know premium compact cameras that much and just see all these dials and just not sure what to do. I totally understand that. But in terms of just the look, you know, if you just want to go with like full automatic first, you can just set it to full automatic and then just use it for that first before just, you know, slowly learning to get into the look that you want. If it's way too bright, you have more room on these uh, older premium compact cameras to set it to lower um, exposure or just set your own ISO or just set your own, you know, other manual settings that you can actually control your images a bit more while still getting that nostalgic um, digital look. But of course, these one will actually fit into your shirt pocket better or if um, you're a girl and obviously girl jeans tend to have, you know, smaller pockets, then these will fit into those pockets more, especially the Sony as well. It's much, much slimmer um, in profile. So yeah, just to compare, um, yeah, there's that. It's like three times slimmer than these premium compacts. But in the same time, yeah, if you just want simplicity, go for this one. Um, but if you want simplicity, but also like, room for growth and room for being able to control everything eventually then this one would be the way to go you know the more premium compact camera i don't really know how else to really stretch that and of course these cameras they can shoot raw which means you will have a lot more room to add it later in post and of course they tend to have bigger sensors as well which means you might have 
um, you know, much better out of focus background and also with more robust files means you can actually recover a lot of highlights back as well should you wish to recover them later in post. So you do have more room to actually fix your images or recover some details back later and at night you will still get that grainy images out of this just you're gonna be able to make out of those grainy images a bit more than these cameras in low light and the lenses are much sharper you will still get that soft lens look being an old digital camera but it's still much sharper than this to the point where it's just <sighs> just just get this in my opinion but um, yeah at the end of the day, it's your choice, but this is just my personal opinion on this matter and I hope that it helps you to a certain extent. And also the battery life on this camera, on these um, premium compact cameras, uh, will actually be much better as well. So yeah, there is that. Oh, and one more thing, um, the screens are also sharper so you can actually view better detail images. And being a much larger sensor camera with better image processors, it means you're gonna get slightly less pixelated images as well. So yeah, that's really just my short um, kind of answer to that. I hope it helps you guys somewhat or some of you uh, and um, But if you at the end of the day if you want to get these kind of smaller uh, Compact cameras, it's totally within your choice. You know, it's it's a very nice camera to use It's very interesting to experiment with as well. So yeah, there is that um, Anyway, if you need a free photography guidebook, it's absolutely for free on my website The link is down in the uh, description section below uh, So as my photography courses both free and paid as well uh, if you want to share anything, if you have anything to recommend, if you want to ask a question, feel free to also just comment that down in the uh, comment section below as well. Otherwise, I thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe, have fun shooting. Till next time, bye for now.